Trump is literally pressuring the Secretary of State in Georgia to turn the election results. And so he's literally pressuring them to do exactly what he's accusing. He's trying to rig the election. Yes, and that's that's the hypocrisy of the senators. Jesus. The new senators that got elected were elected on the same exact ballot that they're now rejecting. So then you should not be certified as senator of whatever state you're from. So it's like, how, I mean, what, why is this circus still continuing? I can tell you why. I can tell you why. I think it's pretty simple. I think it's, uh, you have Republicans who know Donald Trump is still wildly popular. The guy got 71 million votes in an election where we all thought he had no shot. And they're, they're just, Pleading their like pleading their allegiance to Trump and the Trump persona to hope to get some of that popularity because I mean we we hear conversations like there are plenty of people that still believe the election was a fraud and that uh, Trump should be president should have won and I think they're just like hey let's just capitalize on this Newsmax kind of conversation that clearly is popular because. People are migrating from Fox to Newsmax, and they're just trying to take advantage. I don't think anyone really thinks the election was a fraud. They're just trying to capitalize on a political moment. But you don't, do you think that, if you had to guess, do you think that they know that they won't be able to overturn it? They're just going to ride it into the absolute ground to maximize whatever? Because the thing that gets me is, what's your long-term game here? Like, you know that this will this would break the country fundamentally if if that was even considered. Yeah, I don't think they care. I think it's the first part of your statement. They just want to drive it to the ground because they know it's popular in segments that uh, matter to them. 